la vieja casa de Dana. <risa> Parece que está hablando sola. Puente de la niebla, otoño del 2005. Okay, Oscar. Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? According to her registration form from the Music Academy, it was number 20. Número 20. Y el detective sigue detrás. He visitado la, la Academia de Música de Bagger. Gracias a la pista que me dio Lenny, la señora que regenta el refugio. Los diversos testimonios que he recopilado coinciden con que la señorita Walker no ha perdido su viejo hábito de quebrantar la ley según le convenga. Por lo visto allanó una cafetería de la Plaza de, de la Música y luego activó los autómatas musicales. Haciendo caso omiso a las ordenanzas públicas. Aún más interesante me resulta el hecho de que los testigos hayan afirmado únicamente que la actuación de los autómatas provocó una profunda reacción en Kate Walker. Unánimemente. Tras ahondar un poco más, ahora tengo la certeza de que esa melodía conocida como el himno de Bagger es la misma de la caja de música de la difunta madre de Kate Walker, la que le envió a Kate mientras estaba en la mina. Qué extraña coincidencia, ¿no? Qué pena que yo no crea en las coincidencias. Kate Walker se dirige al puente de la niebla de Bagger, donde residía Dana Rose de pequeña. Es la mujer a la que está buscando. Partiría hacia allá, hacia allá de inmediato, y esto no sabemos cuánto tiempo antes de que Kate estuviera aquí. Bueno, vale, faltaría mirar... Antes de hacer la misión principal... Entérate de las últimas noticias de Bagger. The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the 1930s. Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost new, as if it had been renovated. Vale, el 13, este no es, y este es el 15. Estamos buscando el 20. Vale, creo que he visto antes algo que se puede... Aquí. El 14 y el 16. A book about Vaughan's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. ¿Será esto lo que nos está pidiendo? En, bueno, de las últimas noticias. Si es un libro de la Segunda Guerra Mundial, no creo que sean las últimas noticias. A book about Vaughan's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. Ah, 
bajar. Todo esto está cerrado. Souvenirs here look more upmarket than the ones I've seen elsewhere. A gift shop. Y es el número 20. Es aquí donde tenemos que entrar. Veintidós. Esa sería la antigua tienda de los padres eh, de Dana. Pero bueno, ya sabemos dónde está en teoría. A todos los habitantes de Baggins se espera una fuerte tormenta que una fuerte tormenta azote la ciudad a partir de esta tarde y a lo largo de toda la noche. La municipalidad recomienda a todo el mundo permanecer en sus hogares con las presiones totalmente bajadas, así como cancelar o posponer cualquier plan en el exterior. Todas las actividades culturales al aire libre, sobre todo las que se celebran en el Dombre, las montañas circundantes quedan prohibidas por decreto municipal durante las 24 horas por cable. Tormenta. Tenemos tormenta. Estará aquí... Tanta no está aquí. In loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Y no se puede seguir. The house is somewhere on the bridge, so there's no point looking anywhere else. Vale, es aquí, pero no sé a lo que se refiere con enterarse de las últimas noticias. Y ahora que no me pide la introspección, ahora lo encuentro. So this is where Dana grew up. I wonder if she'd recognize the town of her childhood today. I think she would. That is, if she's still alive. The musical square looks like it's turned into a tourist trap. Whereas, in the bridge district, it seems like time stood still. It's quite eerie, really. Like if the neighborhood were artificially frozen in time. Eso no lo he leído, ¿no? ¿Serán esas las últimas noticias aquí? Looks like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. Llamamiento a todos los residentes y minoristas de Wagen. Abad nuestro puente de la niebla por dentro y por fuera. Desde el abajo firmante Comité de Bienestar del Puente de la Niebla, por la presente protestamos contra la política del Ayuntamiento de competir Bagger en una ciudad museo. 
¿Cómo lo están llevando a cabo? Cediendo financiación pública solamente para reformas exteriores, con el objetivo de atraer al mayor número posible de cadenas de bajo coste. Esta política injusta va en detrimento de los propietarios del pequeño comercio y de los artesanos del distrito del Puente de la Niebla. Eso debería ser mejor para ellos. Si atrae turistas, debería ser mejor. No sé por qué protestan. ¿Por qué debería preocuparnos? Mira, ahora no lo va a explicar. Porque los propietarios del distrito del puente están teniendo que vivir y trabajar en condiciones insalubres. A pesar de las repetidas peticiones que se hicieron al ayuntamiento para crear un programa de financiación más justo que cubra las reformas interiores. Vale, ya entiendo lo que quieren. Lo que están pidiendo es que se están gastando solamente en el exterior para limpiar el exterior, pero el interior de los edificios están todos sucios y son trabajar dentro es insalubre. Si permitimos que el ayuntamiento continúe con su política injusta, pronto no quedará ningún residente en el distrito del puente. Solo quedarán fachadas bonitas, cascarones vacíos y tiendas de recuerdos baratas. ¿Qué se puede hacer al respecto? Para conservar nuestro espíritu comunitario y el pequeño comercio que vende auténtica artesanía de Wagen, le solicitamos al ayuntamiento que cree urgentemente un programa de financiación para las reformas interiores que priorice a los Wagense, a los Wageníes. Cabe destacar que la única financiación para reformas interiores del Distrito del Puente data de justo después de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Anda que no se limpian, no han tardado en limpiar el interior de los edificios. Se llevó a cabo de forma apresurada tras la destrucción parcial del puente durante la liberación de Wagen. Hoy, la inmensa mayoría de las propiedades del puente no son habitables. Únete a nuestro grupo de pensión en pro de la financiación para las reformas interiores de los edificios históricos del puente. Debemos proteger la comunidad y salvar la vida de nuestra hermosa ciudad. Aquí tenemos un número de teléfono y un email. No sé si importará algo el número, no lo creo. Protests in the neighborhood and a big storm coming tonight. I sure wouldn't want to be in the mayor's shoes right now. Anyway, I'd better focus back on Dana. Vale, ahora sí que puedo entrar. Hombre, si llega una tormenta, lo único que tienen que hacer es abrir todas las ventanas y se limpiará por dentro. Solo, sin, sin dinero. 18, no, era el 20. Entonces... Era aquí. There's number 20. Dana's old house. Guten Tag, Fräulein. Vale, no hay... No hay misión secundaria. Antes de hablar, voy a mirar un poquito por aquí. Ni siquiera le, está, le ha saludado, ¿eh? All our gifts are handmade by craftsmen in Wagen. Made in Wagen. <ríe> me está vigilando, no me quita ojo de encima. Esto me va a robar algo. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. Vale, no veo nada más que se pueda mirar. Pues vamos a hablar con la vendedora. ¿A dónde vas? ¿Ves? A veces hace cosas muy raras. On holiday in the region, Fräulein. Just passing through. Well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigl at your service. 
I noticed you were looking at a souvenir, Fräulein. Yes, you have a wonderful choice here, Frau Heigl. Your shop is beautiful. Thank you. All our souvenirs here are pieces of craftsmanship, as we like to say. All by local craftsmen. Do you wish to buy the souvenir, Fräulein? Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of trace of her here, so I could continue my search. I see. Well, I have heard of the roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. But don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was sacked just before the war, during the pogrom against the Vagrans. Oh, truly awful events. And then the neighbourhood was bombed, just after the war, during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. Oh, you mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? As much as anyone who knows anything about Wagen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. A few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Vagarans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including this house. Were the Roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fräulein, I don't know, but I hope not. Well, it doesn't look like the house was damaged, from what I can see. Your shop is charming, and so is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes. And if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. So between the pogrom, the bombing, and the whole house being renovated, there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house. So we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here and there in the house. The successive owners didn't want to throw them out, and I suppose they must have left them there. Would you mind if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. I see. In that case, would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein. But I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. By getting creative, I guess. I conclude I can trust you on that score, Kate Walker. Vale. No sé si tengo que encontrar otra entrada. O a lo mejor no tengo... Mira, aquí está la entrada. It's right in Frau Heigl's line of vision, too. 
I'm vale. going to draw her away if I want to sneak through that service door to the upper floors. Tengo que hacer algo para que se vaya. Usar. ¿A quién voy a poner aquí? A que la líe Oscar. Dejo a Oscar aquí y que la líe. Don't you even think no. about it, Kate Walker. Haven't I already been damaged enough during your adventures? Ficha de Dana, cartera, la caja de música. No, I don't no. think so. That doesn't work. Wrong one. Pues es algo que no tengo. Es un objeto, tengo que usar ahí un objeto que aún no tengo. Vale, vamos a ver si el objeto ese está aquí. Made in Vagen. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. Excuse me, I must just serve the gentleman. Nada, ni caso. Pues creo que el objeto que tengo que usar no está aquí dentro. El libro. History during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. Vale, no me dice nada. No, no sigue más allá. Corazón de Oscar puede ir aquí. I am sorry, but there is nothing I can do for you here. No. Dinero. Sí. Recuerdo barato. Wow. That's one shrill version of the hymn of Wagen. <laughs> vale, vamos a ver si es esto lo que tengo que poner allí. Sí. 
What's that awful noise? Excuse me, sir. Oh, there it is. How awful. That certainly doesn't belong in my shop. We don't sell such cheap and tacky items. Great. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. Vale, vamos a empezar por la habitación del fondo. Y hay otra más, sí. Parece que hay más pisos. Más habitaciones. This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. In remembrance of the eternal bond between the roses and the zimmers. Signed, Adam Z. This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. Vale, entonces sí que mintió cuando decía que, cono que no conocía a Dana. Si tiene aquí una foto de los Rose, nos estaba mintiendo. It's dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. Casa tras el bombardeo. Mayo de 1945. This photo shows the house partially destroyed. Must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. Salimos por la otra puerta. Vale. No parece que haya nada ahí. Nothing of interest in here. Double bed, plenty of space. Must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where is Dana's room then? The number of rooms don't add up. Just what I needed. Vale, a ver, ¿cómo, cómo podemos coger eso desde aquí arriba? O hay que ir abajo, una de dos. A 
family portrait. That must be Dana with her parents. Vale, voy a intentarlo desde abajo. A ver, creo que está ahí. Huh. The bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. Al desván. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. Nada, al ático. It's been bricked up. Most likely ah. during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. That's it, Oscar. I think I know where Dana's room is. Enlighten me, Kate Walker. Well, one of the photos shows a bedroom that's not on the second floor, right? And we know that the staircase was bricked up during the renovation and led to another floor. So that's got to be where we'll find Dana's missing bedroom. It seems plausible, indeed. It does. And if we're lucky, the room might be pretty much like Dana left it all those years ago, and potentially with clues to put us back on our track. I've just got to find a way to get to that third floor bedroom. Seeing as you failed to create a positive bond with Frau Hegel, the next rational step would be to take a look outside the building, Kate Walker. You're right, Oscar. Let's go and see. Vale, hay que mirar la fachada entonces. Porque ahí nada, ¿no? Up. Most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. Y salir por la ventana que vimos antes que estaba rota, por donde salieron las palomas, no creo que sea por ahí. No puedo hacer nada. Entonces sí, va a ser desde fuera. Vale, se va a enfadar la dueña de la tienda o no nos va a ver.
A ver, aparecemos de la nada y no nos dice nada, ¿no? Vale. Hemos aparecido así de la... por la buena. Antes estaba vacía la... la tienda y de repente hemos aparecido. Y no nos ha dicho nada. Ahí estamos. Hay que subir por ahí. Hay que bajar esta especie de barquilla. Pero ¿cómo? Oscar, I need your opinion on this. Looks like that fire escape staircase serves every floor of the house. That is correct, Kate Walker. Perhaps you should find a way to use it. Better try something else. So what do you think, Oscar? I think I would have liked a body with longer front legs. I was talking about the window up there. Must be Dana's room, right? Oh, of course. There is a high probability that you are not wrong, Kate Walker. Looks like the staircase serves every floor, including Dana's. I conjecture that you are probably right, Kate Walker. Vale, entonces, ¿puedo salir por esta ventana? Well, we can't get to the staircase from the first floor windows. The second floor windows will be of no use to reach the staircase. Pues no, tampoco. Indeed, Kate Walker, all the windows you could have used are obstructed. The ladder to the first floor is up. It's too high for me to pull down. Looks like there's a mechanism up there to lower the ladder. That drain pipe leads to a ledge that leads to the staircase. According to my calculations, the drain pipe will not hold you, Kate Walker. And even if you were lighter, the ledge is too narrow for you to stand on. Pero hey, si puede. Are you trying to tell me something, Oscar? Yes, you are too heavy and too wide, Kate Walker, for the ledge. Gee, thanks, Oscar. So basically, it's not going to be easy to use the staircase to get to Dana's room. There is no other way. Access is denied from inside the first and second floors. And the third floor stairwell is bricked up. The fire escape staircase is the only possibility, Kate Walker. But you cannot climb up the drain pipe because of your weight and size. I heard you the first time, thanks. You are welcome, Kate Walker. So, the only way up is by the fire escape staircase. And that means lowering the ladder from the first floor.
usar la tubería, Oscar, a ver. Si ella no puede. Well, in that case, there's only one solution. As you're so light and slim, Oscar, you'll have to climb up the drain pipe and walk across the ledge for me. Then you just need to activate the mechanism to lower the steps so that heavy me can take the staircase route. Pero hace falta una llave, ¿no? To climb up drain pipes, Kate Walker. I am a precision made automaton. Come on, Oscar. You saved the day more than once at Baranor. It must be second nature by now. But how can I lower myself to scurrying like a a rat? Because you're a fine fellow and my faithful friend? <sighs> Ah, qué bueno. A veces podrás cambiar entre Kate y Oscar. Vale. Ahora ella la... le va a empujar, ya verá. Ahí no. That useless body. Now I must find another way. Vale, hay que seguir subiendo. Climbing up all over again. Be careful there, Oscar. Una paloma. Oh, dear. Now, Miss Pigeon. Madam Pigeon, then, I beg your pardon. Now, Madam Pigeon, would you be so kind as to make way? <sighs> I guess I'm going to need help here. Vale, tendremos que tirarle algo a la paloma. I... I'm going to need you again. A ver. How am I supposed to get rid of that pigeon? Podemos tirarle algo. Better try something else. Ah, se ha roto un trozo de tubería, no lo había visto. No, I don't think so. Aquí una piedra. I can't throw it at the pigeon, but maybe I can use it some other way. Vale, hacemos ruido. Sorry, Oscar. Huh. Made our point, I guess. Vale, ahora tenemos que bajar Y no sé si nos va a pedir una llave <risa> Muy bueno, esto está muy bien, baja rodando también rodando por aquí ahora <risa> eh, de dónde ha salido esa llave
Locked, of course. Vale, Oscar, me va a ayudar, sí. If I were meant to be used as a cannonball, I would have been given a fuse. This is highly irregular. Tuck your head in, Oscar. One. If Hans Vorlberg could see me now, two, how? three. Undignified. Oh my. Oh my. Really? Is this any way to treat an intelligent automaton? Really, if Mr. Vorlberg could see me now... He would say, you've saved the day again, Oscar. You've exceeded all expectations by far. Okay. Let's try and find out what became of Dana after she left the refuge. No doubt about it. This must have been Dana's room. Solo porque hay un piano. Podría ser de cualquiera. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. It's from the Music Academy. Lo hemos llevado en el inventario. Ah, vale. Vale, a ver, ¿cuál es la primera? Esa es la primera. Esta es la segunda, la del centro no se ve bien. La siguiente, la dos. Pero podemos ir haciendo las demás. That's not it. Vale. I should search for more clues in the room. Así es como se abre. That's not it. I should search for more clues in the room. That's not it. I should search for more clues in the room. That's not it. I should search for more clues in the room. A ver, no me he equivocado en los demás. No. Los demás están bien. That's not it. I should search for more clues in the room. That's not it. I should search for more clues in the room. That's not it. I should search for more clues in the room. That's not it. I should search for more. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. Diferentes alturas. Eso 
that's not it. No. I should search for more clues in the room. Estar equivocando en algo. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. That's not it. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. Voy a seguir mirando la habitación. Vaya a ser que sea otra cosa. Aparts missing. Can't leave now. Parece que haya más. Con lo que tengo debería poder abrirlo. Falta un trozo. Nope, won't work. I guess I should use some of the clues I collected. But I get the feeling there is more to find in the room. I must. A no ser que estén en el piano otra vez. No doubt about it. This must have been Dana's room. I'm sure there's more stuff to find in here. There must be. I have to keep looking. Vale, y en el propio baúl. It's blocking it. Esto ya lo he visto. Aquí nada. I don't think it's a good idea to venture no this way. Ah, mira, aquí hay algo. There's something underneath. Can't reach it. Can't be that heavy. That 
That's better. Ahora que lo pienso, junta o junta tenía más influencia sobre mí de lo que pensaba. He acabado escribiéndome recordatorios como me sugirió. Open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. Vale. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. Vale. Tenemos este que está aquí que es diferente. Que va a ser este que está aquí. Este. Pero claro, es que no te dice... Uf, es que no te, no te dice nada. Vamos a ver, aquí hay cuatro juntos, pero podría ser cualquiera. A no ser que coincida. A ver. Que coincida con los símbolos. Pero a lo mejor no en el orden en el que está aquí. No tiene por qué estar en este orden. Aquí tenemos, sabemos que este tiene que ir aquí. Pero este, ¿cuál de ellos es? Ese. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. Ahí está. A ver. Ese va ahí.
4, 5, 6, 7, ¿por qué? Aquí hay 8. Este está complicado. Vale, a ver si ponemos los símbolos. Los mismos símbolos que están en el papel. Pero lo que importa es el orden. Ocho nueve, vale, este está bien. Y sí, sí que coincide el orden, lo que pasa es que hay que elegir el correcto, porque en cada diente parece que hay varios de los mismos símbolos. se va ahí y aquí arriba había cuatro y aquí ya está no ah uh, won't no. open I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room though I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary hay cuatro arriba luego uno libre uno libre cuatro un libre está bien es igual No creo que esté muy lejos de la solución. Este está mal. No coincide con el disco. Y este si lo muevo, este también estará mal. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. Por fin, era ese el que estaba mal. Things stuck. 
encima, ¿no? Me faltaba, a ver, falta algo más. Me ha costado, ¿eh? This was written not long after her time at the refuge. A letter from Leon. So he did write back to Dana after the expedition left Kantar, the capital of Baltayar. The High Plateau of Baltayar, October 25th, 1937. My, My darling, darling Edelweiss. Edelweiss. I hate myself for not sending you news more often, and for not being able to receive news of you. I find myself now, where probably no other modern-day human has ever ventured before. I regret to inform you that I won't be able to go back to Europe with my fellow survivors. That happened during the expedition. I, no doubt, am partly to blame. Nevertheless, I would like you to know my version of the event. Up we get, Leon. Another day on a wild goose chase. I'd better get kitted up before going out. Vale, vamos a ver lo que le pasado a la expedición. Hmm. Horst has already left. 
The scolding that Berger gave them yesterday about their lack of results in tracking down the Gorons really got to him. All those books. Only horse could cut about works of anthropology beyond the frontiers of the known world. The march of science knows no bounds for him. I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. These biscuits don't compare with old Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. These biscuits don't compare with old Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. No chance of me venturing into the mountain without that. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. It's to hope I can get back to sketching the valley. <laughs> Berger putting on the pressure at the moment. I doubt it. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. It's tough not to be able to receive or give any news since leaving civilization. Qué raro, no me deja examinarlo. Ah, espera, aquí hay algo. Vale, simplemente un cuaderno de dibujo. I'm so glad Junta lent it to me. I was able to take wonderful pictures behind Berger's back. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kentar with the expedition. It's tough not to be able to receive or give any news since leaving civilization. Había algo más. Ya está. No sé si habrá llenado la cantiplora de agua. O lo tengo que hacer yo, no creo. Better get going before. You know what time it is. Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Cobatis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. The day's only just bloody breaking. I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. All right, all right. I'm not your enemy, you know. I... I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation, Leon. If we don't find a specimen of the Goron, the brown shadow will... Look, just go find Zawa, please. Now! Revisa el campamento antes de irse. Pues vamos a revisar el campamento. No creo que quiera hablar conmigo. Look, can't you see I'm busy? The mountain's dangerous and we're prepared for the worst. I only hope we don't have to use it. Ah, mira, rellenar. Sí que tenía que rellenarla yo. Ahora, por fin. With this, I'll be able to venture out for as long as it takes to find Sour. 
not what you'd call cute, this Gorun. Just as well they haven't found it yet. Anda que lo que está buscando esta gente. Y se lo creen de verdad. I hope you're not thinking of going inside my tent, Cobatis. Vale. No. Hmm. No one here. Bao and Iega must have already taken off in search of the Gorun. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. Sin, est sin estar terminado lo de revisar el campamento. A no ser que tenga que abrir el, el cofre este. Va a abrir. Poor animal. Berg has gone out of his mind with this search for the abominable snowman of his. O quizá me falta algo en mi propia tienda. All those books. Only horse could cut about works of anthropology beyond the frontiers of the known world. The march of science knows no bounds for him. Yo creo que no. Hope I can get back to sketching the valley, but with Berger putting on the pressure. The Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born. Vale, zero cuatro zero ocho diecinueve treinta y siete. Bauer's daughter. This medal must belong to Bauer. He must have left it behind when he turned in for the night. Vamos a probar 19, 37. Eso sí, es el mes y el día. Bauer, are you little? Entiendo que la sombra marrón se enfade si la expedición fracasa. Dicho esto, le pido que no se lo reproche a Herberger y a mis compañeros científicos. Si hay que culpar a alguien, dirija su mirada hacia León Cobatis. Vale, muy bien, nos está echando la culpa. Su mala disposición se ha hecho evidente de principio a fin. De hecho, no, no me sorprendería nada que su intención fuera sabotear toda la expedición desde el principio. Se ha pasado un poquito ahí, eh. All ship shape. Typical Bauer. Nada, todavía no, lo de revisar el campamento. Nada. 
nada más aquí. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. No sé qué más mirar. Y aquí no me va a dejar entrar. Go and find Sour. Where on earth can the bloody creature be hold up? I think I'm just going to stay here. Si abandono el campamento, la misión esa secundaria no se hace. Pero bueno, no sé, no sé qué más tengo que hacer. Falta algo por revisar. que me falta pero bueno vamos a seguir con la misión principal ah, better get going Revisar el campamento no está conseguido. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. Anyone there? Looks like someone's left their gear up there. Better check it out. Whoever it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. That sour all over. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably sour. But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? I'd better have a look around to find out what happened here. Echa otro vistazo a las cosas que dejas antes de emprender el camino. What on earth is that? That mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. Y ahora sí, I'd better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. What in God? What in the world? Shh! Look what I found! It's 
Is that a... A guru? Yes, it's a guru. I heard him cry as I was taking a break near the path. Hurry, we must go fetch the others. You go. He looks injured. I'd better stay and try and reach him before the current carries him away. Right, Leon. Okay. But don't lose him. All right, little fella. Don't move. I'm coming to get you. Vale, a ver, al final encontraron vete tú a saber qué. Simplemente parece un mono nada más. No el Yeti como parecía lo que es lo que estaban buscando. All sorts of debris has been carried by the river. But other than trying to build a raft, I don't know what use it can be. Tengo el hacha que vi antes. Ah, no, el machete. que está haciendo el mono no se va no Not the time to get a dunking. To hurt you. I just want to look at your wound. Well, it's more than a mono, eh? It's what they were looking for. Exactly what they were looking for. Um, what can I give him to show I mean no ill? Eh, galletitas, supongo. Pero vamos, buena fe, poca, eh? Porque teníais preparado allí. Una cárcel para meterlo. Vamos a darle la galleta. There you go. Good boy. It's all right. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. Good boy. Eat up, fella.
Good, isn't it? Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella, if you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? It's broken, all right. It must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fella. I'll be right back. Entablilla la pierna del Gorum. There's two bits of driftwood washed up there. They're straight enough to help get the Gorun back to camp. No sé por qué estoy haciendo esto. Porque estaba presionando la, las lianas. Mark, judging by the shape, must have been made by the Gorun, probably before he got injured. I wonder what the Gorun might become anxious if I leave now. There must be something around here. Here we go, fella. This is going to sting little. Wasn't so bad, was it? Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. Did you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better drawn than talking, huh? Now we just have to wait for the others. Huh? Oh! You want another biscuit? <laughs> you learn quick. It was a young specimen, my darling Dana. Almost like a child. 
and as soon as we made eye contact, I knew this was a creature endowed with reason. When my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. Claro, si estaba claro lo que iban a hacer. They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. <laughs> si tenían preparada la jaula. It was clear the young Goran wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. A ver, ese bicho cabe perfectamente entre las rejas, eh. Puede escaparse cuando quiera. Fruit. Have some fruit. You shut him up in a cage. What do you expect? He's frightened. Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it. Localiza el origen del grito, vamos a ver. Ahí está. Pass me the rifle. It must be the Gorn's mother. If we give it back, she'll probably leave. And deprive us of an adult specimen? Are you mad? All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her, then we'll never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? No! Oh, lo mató. Uf, mal rollo. Si está muerto, mal rollo. But he, he's killed Burger. Bauer, wait. You saw. It was an accident. He was going to kill the Gorim, sir. So I. I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin!
intenta escapar a ver qué podemos encontrar por aquí. That stone looks sharp enough. If I can reach it, maybe I can cut myself free. Oh dear lord, Berger. I'm sorry. I never meant to. La piedra es lo único que tenemos. I'll bring him some soup. We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. Doesn't surprise me. I came across a letter from Bauer that made me the scapegoat for everything that's gone wrong. Bauer had been planning this for some time now. Well, that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. You must pretend to be tied up. Wait for them to fall asleep. Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? Yes, but what? Pero dejarlo tirado en medio de la montaña es casi como un suicidio, ¿eh? So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. Pero bueno, sobrevivió. Creo. I don't know what will become of me, where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks, or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. But always remember that my love for you is as strong as ever, and that my greatest desire is to hold you in my arms. I love you more than anything in the world. Leon, your Highland painter. Dana! Oh my goodness! Dana! What's wrong, Puppet? Lena, come quick! Se desmayó del susto. Pero bueno, tampoco fue para tanto, ¿no? Se supone que salió vivo. Dear diary, so much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me that I was going to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I need to gather my thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. Terminar de preparar la maleta, a ver qué es lo principal. Ahí no puedo. Vale, guarda estas tres cosas. El folleto del sanatorio, la foto de tus padres y la medicina para la tos. Folleto del sanatorio, la van a ingresar.
the medication to treat my cough. Mama is forcing me to take it again since I collapsed after getting Leon's letter. I should pack it. Come on, Dana. There were enough tears already. As I said, dear diary, I'm leaving tomorrow. Papa and Mama are sending me to a sanatorium out of town for a few months. They say it's for continuing my convalescence. In other words, to send me and my secret away from prying eyes. My parents have accepted the offer from their longtime friends, the Zimmers, to pay for my hospitalization at the sanatorium. The Zimmers said it was in the name of their long friendship with Papa and Mama. But I think they feel bad that they can afford to flee Wagen in the Brown Shadow, whereas Mama and Papa can't. Folleto del sanatorio. Faltaba la foto que la hemos visto. Estaba por ahí. De fondo la he visto antes. I was planning to give up all my old toys and dolls, but now I guess I'm going to need them in a few years. Ahí está. Está embarazada. No me había dado cuenta. They were devastated when the doctor they called after I collapsed discovered my secret. That secret I dared not speak about to anyone, not even you, dear diary. Now I can tell you, I'm pregnant, dear diary. Leon is the father. There were a lot of tears and screams when the doctor told Papa and Mama, but they finally decided to pretend that the baby will be the foster child of a missing relative. I know everyone expects me to feel guilty, but I can't help thinking of names. If it's a boy, of course it'll be Leon to bring his father good luck. And if it's a girl, I think I'll call her Anna. Mama says Leon is nothing but an unscrupulous adventurer who took advantage of an innocent girl, but I know it's not true. No me acuerdo cómo se llamaba la abuela de Kate. La hemos visto antes, pero no me acuerdo. Papa looks ten years older since he learned of my pregnancy. But what seems to have affected him the most was to ask Herr Zimmer for help. Faltan más cosas que mirar, ¿no? I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. Vale, yo creo que lo tengo todo.
Y la foto es lo que falta. Well, that should be it. Yunta inspired me, I guess. Cierra la maleta. All I need to do now is to conclude my diary entry and hide it somewhere safe with Leon's letter. Y guardar el diario aquí, supongo. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. Oh. I can't believe Leon is on the run, all alone in those mountains in the middle of winter. But esta es la carta. Que ya hemos visto antes. That scientist I met at the refuge, Horst Zawa, he brought me the letter after his return from Baltayar. Now you know everything, dear diary. It is now, I guess, the time to say goodbye for a while. I can hope now is that Leon will survive winter in those faraway mountains and that he will find a way to come home and clear his name. We will wait until then, me and the baby. Still think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? Es posible. Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. Well, like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I, I don't know from where exactly, but and then. There's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. Or a coincidence, Kate Walker. The law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. But before we go, there's something that's been bothering me. What is it, Kate Walker? The pogrom that Frau Heigl told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked, happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. 
Indeed, Kate Walker. So it is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes. But what if... What if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker. Where you lead, I will follow. As long as you don't forget your bag. Trust me, Oscar. You're the only friend I've got right now. I ain't losing you. Vale, registrar. Obtener información sobre los pogromos. ¿Me puedo salir por aquí? Sí. Pero claro, esto estará tapiado, no puedo bajar las escaleras. Threats riddled with misspellings and signed Frank Hoss. That member of the Brown Shadow who had it in for Leon at the refuge. Looks like he never forgave them and was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker. But the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. Come on, Oscar. We need to find more clues. So, according to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. Estimado Herr Rose, le ruego que acepte mi agradecimiento más sincero por la nueva donación que ha hecho Herr Zimmer a nuestra institución en su nombre. Por lo tanto, me complace informarle de que Dana puede permanecer con nosotros hasta diciembre de 1938 tal y como nos pidió. De hecho, es lo más razonable teniendo en cuenta el deterioro de su estado de salud. Puede estar seguro de que seguiremos cuidando bien de ella. No dice nada de que hubiera complicaciones. Y esto fue en junio del 38, o sea que en junio del 38 ya estaba allí. Y se iba a quedar hasta diciembre, ¿no? Diciembre del 38. That's a good clue, I guess, but I need to find more. Dana's initials. Este es el pañuelo que ya vimos antes. We were on the other side of this wall earlier, Kate Walker. It's like we've gone through a looking glass. I do not understand, Kate Walker. Forget it. I don't know what I'm saying. If you say so, Kate Walker. Vale, yo creo que aquí nada más. Podemos salir por la ventana. Pues necesitamos más, más pistas de lo que le pasó de lo que pasó a Dana antes de ir al San Andorio. Podemos intentar preguntar a la dueña de la tienda. Esta tía lleva aquí un montón de tiempo mirando el escaparate. I'm sorry I couldn't help you, Fraulein. Pues no, no nos va a decir nada. libro que vimos antes que decía quizá más adelante sea útil va a ser útil ahora huh. according to that book the pogrom occurred at the beginning of november 1938 vale entonces se supone que dana ya estaba en el sanatorio de marzo del 38 la sombra marrón selecciona Ostertal. 9 de noviembre del 38 la sombra marrón organiza una noche de aquí está el 9 de noviembre contra la comunidad baguerana especialmente contra los miembros que viven en el puente de niebla de Bagen, o sea aquí donde estamos ahora así que en teoría como si va a quedar hasta diciembre del 38 en el sanatorio no estaba aquí cuando atacaron We're getting close. But it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. 
Pues falta algo más. Falta saber algo. No quiere seguir bajando. Pues no sé dónde mirar ahora. Souvenirs here look more upmarket than the ones I've seen elsewhere. se puede leer, así que no vamos a sacar más información de ahí. Se me habrá olvidado algo en la casa de, de Dana. Puede ser. Por el otro lado, quizás al otro lado de, del muro. Porque esto ya lo leímos. I've already found what I was looking for upstairs. No pues nada. going back and risking getting caught. Aquí nada. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. que me faltaría No sé si la, la información que necesito está aquí o me tengo que mover a otro sitio. A la pensión. No. Es aquí. Hay algo aquí que me falta.
ver, me ha faltado algo aquí que no haya visto. We were on the other side of this wall earlier, Kate Walker. Yo creo que aquí no hay nada. Y la pintada de la pared. The room was ransacked and pillaged during a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Dana was away that day. Yo creo que he dicho antes que la información estaba fuera, así que... ¿Pero dónde? ¿Calla? ¿Va a bajar? Sí, es verdad. Esto ya recuerdo. Aquí es donde estaba... La lista de personas que fallecieron ese día, el día de lo llamaron. In loving memory of all y no está Dana, ya la hemos buscado antes. No esto no es una pista. Ackerman, Fisher. No está Dana. I can't find Dana here. ¿Será esto lo que hace falta? Pues eso es una buena pista, ¿eh? Si no está en la lista de muertos, pues ella no estaba aquí. Esto ya lo leímos. Pues no sé qué más. se me ocurre A ver, pista. I need to find out if Dana escaped the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker. A monument dedicated to the victims would be the ideal place to find out if Dana did or did not escape. No sé si lo acabo de mirar. Si lo acabo de mirar ahora.
A no ser que tenga... Ah, que puedo mover... Ah, espera, espera, espera. Claro. Keller, Meyer, Ortel. I'm getting close. No había visto que había otras partes. Otto, Pfeiffer. What if? Vogt, Weiss. Dana isn't mentioned here. Ahora. Todavía sigue. Ackerman, Fisher, Yorga. I can't find Dana here. A usar. No sé qué quiere que use. El pañuelo, no creo. Sí, el pañuelo. Dana isn't mentioned here. Vale, más pañuelo. Anton and Lena Rose. Tana's parents. Oh God, they were killed during the pogrom. Is Dana Rose also mentioned? It doesn't look like it, no. But I need to be sure. I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Dana's parents, Anton and Lena, were killed, that's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message Herr Hoss left in the house, Kate Walker. Exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. Vale, volvamos a la pensión.